Hello and welcome everyone to this video on spring beans. In this video, we will be discussing what spring beans are and how they are used in spring framework. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any new update. First, let's define what spring beans are. Spring beans are simply the Java objects that are managed by Spring IOC container. These objects are created and configured using XML configuration, Java annotations or Java code as well. Now let's talk about Spring IOC container briefly again. If you want to check in detail what is IOC and dependency injection, you can access the video from top right corner on your screen now. The Spring IOC container is responsible for instantiating, configuring and assembling the objects in your application. It does these using dependency injection, which is a design pattern that allows an object to receive its dependency from an external source rather than creating the dependency on its own. So how do you define a Spring Bean? There are few different ways to do that, but the most common is through the use of at the rate bean annotation. This annotation is used to indicate that a method will return a spring bean. For example, we have this my configuration class which is annotated with at the rate configuration so that it will be automatically scanned during the application startup. And in this example, my bean method is annotated with at the rate bean and will return an instance of my bean when it is called. This instance will be managed by Spring IOC container and can be injected into other objects using at the rate auto wired annotation. We will also see at the rate auto wired annotation in action. The at the rate bean annotation can also be used to customize the configuration of the bean. For example, you can use the name attribute to specify the name of the bean, the init method attribute to specify a method to be called after the bean is created, and the destroy method attribute to specify a method to be called whenever bean is getting destroyed. So in this example, the mybean method is annotated with at the rate bean and will return the instance of mybean. The bean will be named my custom bean and the init and cleanup methods will be called when the bean is created and destroyed respectively. Spring bean can also be defined using XML. Here is an example of how we can define a bean using XML. So here we need to add a tag in XML with the bean ID which is the name of the bean then the class of that bean with the fully qualified package name. The XML definition will create a bean with this ID mybean and of class com.example.mybean. If you want to see a detailed video and explanation with an example, you can check it out from the top right corner of your screen. I will also share the links in description as well. With the introduction of Spring Boot, now we are moving away from the XML based bean configuration and it will impact the development in very good way as developers now not needed to do XML configuration. Now that we know how to define Spring Beans, let's talk about how they are getting used in Spring Framework. But before that, please do let me know if you have any doubt in at the rate bean or how to define a bean. I will try to answer your queries. Now let's see how we can use the created beans in our Spring Framework. One of the main benefit of using Spring Bean is that they can be easily injected into the other objects through dependency injection. This is done using at the rate auto wired annotation. Let's take an example for that. In this example, my bean object will be injected into my bean field of my service object. This allows my service object to use the functionality which is provided by the my bean object without having created instance of it. So here you can see we are not creating any instance of my bean class using new operator. We are just using at the rate auto wired annotation and using this annotation itself spring IOC container will inject the available my bean which is already there to my service class so that my service class can use that object. 
Now the question is where at the rate auto add annotation can be used where all we can use the at, at the rate auto add annotation in the previous example we have just seen we are using it on top of an attribute. So the at the rate auto add annotation can be used on fields setter methods and constructor as well. Let's check a couple of examples for that. So in this uh, my bean object will be injected into my bean field of the my service object using the constructor. Why? Because we have added at the rate auto wired on constructor here itself. But if we uh, add at the rate auto wired on the set bean method, then that will be a setter injection. There is one more way to uh, add the injection which is using interfaces. So I am leaving that to you for uh, further exploration. Please check it out and let me know if you have any doubts in that. We can also configure this annotation based on our requirement as well. The at the rate auto add annotation can also be used with optional dependencies. If you tag some dependency with at the rate auto wired and Spring IOC did not find it in the context, then it will throw an error during your application startup. But if the bean is marked as optional, the Spring IOC container will not throw an exception if it is unable to find the matching bean. To mark a dependency as optional, you can use at the rate auto wired and inside that we can provide a parameter required is equal to false. But by default the required is true. If we are not providing required value, then automatically it will take it as true. So in this example, my bean object will be injected into my bean field of my service object if it is available. But the spring ILC container will not throw any exception if the my bean object is not available in the context. Spring beans are also used to configure the spring framework itself. For example, you can use spring beans to define data sources, security configurations and more. To conclude, we can say that Spring Beans are objects that are managed by Spring IOC container and can be easily injected into other objects. They are an essential part of Spring Framework and are used to create and configure objects in your application. I hope you find this video on Spring Beans and annotations of Bean and at the rate auto wires helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and keep learning.